And we're back. Hey everyone, this is Will and Desiree. And we are here again for Will and Desiree's Rise Mushroom Coffee 30 Day Journey. Day one. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday was day zero. But, yeah. So it's been a full day of, probably day and a half, of having had the rise. And yesterday we had it in the afternoon. And as we saw in the video, um, but this morning we had it with, we did the, yesterday we did it plain, today we did it with just a little bit of creamer added mm -hmm. to help the flavor. I added a little bit of sugar to his too, because it didn't quite feel sweet to me. Yeah. And <laughs> that little bit helped out with the flavor a lot. So, mm -hmm. yeah, probably it's true. It can match with a lot of things. We'll try a different thing and see. Yeah. how it tastes but the main thing uh, we had it this morning um all, we had it this morning for our normal coffee and let's see so yesterday i had had some spicy ramen like super spicy and lately what's been going on is that when i have that the next day they'll have burning diarrhea because my IBS just reacts with that spiciness and whatever. Um, but today, what I noticed was that when the spicy ramen was finally ready to come out, <laughs> I was feeling that burny and urgent feeling. But when it came out, it was soft consistency, not diarrhea. So there's that. And then... Uh, both Desiree and I, um, it was around 10 o'clock this morning when we started feeling that there was like this, like, teen, like, it's hard to describe, but it was like a... It's kind of a pleasant, healthy belly, tingly, something's going right here sort of feeling. Yeah, it was notable, which is why I would say something about it, but mm -hmm. um, and earlier today it felt like my belly had gone down a little bit, but I've also had food and stuff since then so it, it feels like it's puffed back out but <laughs> we'll uh -huh. see um any other notable things i didn't really test my stamina today but i felt like um, i had a decent bit of like mental energy i did feel like i got <clears throat> i may have gotten better sleep last night hmm. um it's it's still too early to see a trend. It may have just been I had been playing in the snow the day before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and, and or tired. the two-year-old that's been having several hard nights in a row because of a sinus infection finally slept through the night last night. That definitely affected it for me. <laughs> yeah. But we definitely had the tingling, or like a pleasant tingling in the belly. And then, yeah, I don't know. I felt like I did sleep better. And today I've been having, I do feel like it's been a little bit, like my anxiety is down a bit. And like I've been, I'm not, like when I, uh, during work today, normally there's like several factors of like, uh, <laughs> just, just stress factors. But today it was a little bit like, huh, I've got things that I've got to get done. But I can only do what I can do. <laughs> and it wasn't just like overwhelming completely. But again, that may just be happenstance that I had a good weekend and did a lot of like snow shoveling yesterday. So burnt off some stress and whatever. But we'll keep an eye on it. But we're just making note of things that we're noticing. Mm -hmm. So hopefully... It is a thing, and that this is one thing we wanted just to point out too. That one thing that we're hoping with this, things like that we've tried before, like the BioComplete Three from Gundry MD, um, helped my stomach for a little bit, but then the symptoms came back even while I was taking it. It was good for a little bit, and then like my body adjusted mm -hmm. to, and then decided to be. And, and the adjustment again. period was like 
a week or two. It was not like where you, you know, fixed it for six months. Yeah. Um, but then also we have tried things like Clestopol, which is supposed to be a, like the doctors prescribed it and it was supposed to help calm things down. Again, worked for a week or two and then back to normal. And back, well, back to IBS normal. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. So, one thing that we're hoping to see with this is if it, if that tingling feeling turns into some, something bigger and stays. <laughs> mm -hmm. And there's two things, there's two kind of like hopes. One is that it will at least keep on staying that way while using it, if it, if it is the rise. But then there's also the second factor of hopefully it can fix it so that I don't have to keep on having rise to do that if the rise is what's causing it to be better. So we will see. This is only day one, and apparently this is kind of a cumulative effect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And because that's one of the things too with like the helping the like gut health. If your gut has like has the biome all messed up and everything, it takes time to to get that reinstantiated and get new bacteria and stuff growing healthily. So <sighs> no quick fix. But things we can notice along the way. <laughs> so yeah, again, here's the the score I met today. And just again. For data point sake, let's do yeah. Yeah, do, do, do. 328 point four. So in that fluctuation range. But yeah. I hope you guys are doing good. And you guys want to try this too? We are definitely, if it doesn't work like they keep on saying like this magical thing or whatever and like all the like ads that they have then we'll definitely be returning it but um if you guys want to try it too let me know how it's going for you in the comments and if you guys wouldn't mind liking the video sharing subscribing to our to my channel and sharing this with other people so we can see and get other perspectives but yeah i will see you guys tomorrow i hope you have a good night